We know that Qatar World Cup is going on and there are lots of allegations against this World Cup arranged by Qatar by the Western media. You know, they brought lots of allegations. What are those Western media? There are lots of Western media. I'm naming here few of them. For example, BBC, CNN, NBC, MNNBC, Fox News, Skyline UK, Skyline USA, and DW. What are the newspapers? The Telegraph, The Guardian, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and don't forget a tabloid from UK, The Economist. Hello everybody, welcome to 7 Minute Learning. In this video, we will talk about the little history of Qatar, then after that we will talk about some allegations brought by Western media against Qatar arranging this World Cup. So let's begin. We know that Qatar is a tiny country, got independence in 1971, but it was under British rule up to 1971 and Qatar has small population just 3 million population 3 million population or less than this but it got gas and well in 1950s I mean it discovered gas and well in 1950s and Qatar's economy bloomed and from there from the ashes they are just flying in the sky nowadays so what are the allegations actually first allegation is corruption Lots of Western medias brought some allegations and one of the allegations is corruption. That Qatar actually corrupted or has corrupted the FIFA. But FIFA investigated regarding this corruption but they didn't find any ground. So what are other allegations against Qatar? Second is environmental damage. So the Western media says that Qatar is a tiny country, it doesn't have infrastructure to arrange a World Cup and that's why it, it's damaging the environment by building metros, building stadiums, lots of building skyscrapers. So this is the second uh, corruption, second allegation against Qatar. So what I will say in this video, that is whenever you are arranging World Cup, definitely you need to build lots of infrastructures. That's what Qatar did. So who actually damaged the environment? That is the West. So that's another talk. And the third is expenditure. We know that Qatar spent in some medias came 220 billion dollars. But some says it's up to 3 billion dollars. Can you believe it? Such a big, huge amount. But look at Russia. In 2018, they spent 15 billion dollars. And others, sometimes 10 billion, sometimes 5 billion. But Qatar had the amount, 220 billion dollars. So what? I have money, I can spend it. And that's what Qatar did. So nothing to say about it. And third is, that is uh, homosexuality. Qatar banned, we know that, I mean culturally Qatar is a Muslim country. And Qatar banned homosexuality in its own country. So whenever you are coming from somewhere, flying to my land, you must understand my rules, you must understand my regulations, my laws and abide by it. You must respect, you know, a country's internal matters, simply. So, and for this LGBTQ's rights, and last but not the least, human rights, including labor rights. But in this regard, I feel that Qatar should, could have dealt uh, with its labors in a better way but they didn't lots of uh, labors actually died from the Bangladesh from Bangladesh India or South Asian countries or from Africa we know uh, I know this is this is valid allegations I support it Qatar could have dealt Qatar should have uh, made some laws regarding the how to deal with the labors I understand it so in this regard they could not or did uh, they, they did uh, did not do well but in other regards i believe i believe those are the false allegations except the labor rights except the i'm repeating again except the labor rights so there may be a more allegations actually i cannot put uh, in this video because it is it's a small video so thank you very much everybody keep learning and keep watching seven minute learning stay foolish stay less and what Keep watching 7 Minute Learning and share this video with your friends. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi